Greg. Hi, Manu. Yes, it works. I got it to work. And yes, we're hunting for you, Greg. Hunting all for you. <gasps> Snacky. Even have the lights turned off today. The extra scariness. How are you both doing? <laughs> Go into a mirror. Right, where was I? Oh yeah, I was in the creepy witch's cabin. I remember now. And then we have the case stuff. <gasps> Weapon upgrade. And whiskey. Do I have like an upgrade I can do? No, I don't. I need way more stuff to upgrade, but... Ah, it's just these. Witch's ladle, towering over Saga, watching her. Right. Time to go back out into the creepy darkness. Uh. Rookie naked man, there's my torch. I can remember which way I was supposed to be going now. Think this way. We will find out soon enough. Spooky naked man running at me out of the woods. I hear noises. Don't like noises. So the murder site was over that way. So we can go this way. This is where the the fanboy copper was waiting for us last time. But now the door is open. Yeah, I am fully expecting to get jump scared multiple times. Is that shadow goop on the floor? Or is it just like a burn or something? this some suspicious activity I can't talk now some suspicious activity spotted the field of thought you saw movement in the bushes footprints around the area were found but some were compromised by the fielder not to self train the fielder nothing to report some animals regular hunters are after dark porches heard some gunshots not one of ours gotta keep an eye on these people could get more than they bargained for out there yeah, they could get murdered by a creepy cult. Can I open this? No. I did some play some more of Control the other day. For like... More of the backstory here. And I forgot how creepy some of the shadow stuff is. Like when you're playing Control as well. You don't have a torch or anything. The safe's open. Money, 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 money. But yeah, when you're playing control, you don't have a... Uh, why is there somebody been sleeping in here? We got cans of beer, more beer. A microwave. I also hear movement. Something moving. Christ. <laughs> that made me jump. Just a little jump that time. 
It was a deer. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Killers. Quick slot to down. That wasn't a deer. There was a deer, it went that way. It just that wasn't a deer. He's also pretty messed up. See look, he's jiggly. He's got jiggle physics. So that's the door I couldn't get through earlier. Obeys. Can't turn the power on. What was he doing in here? It's going to be a manuscript page, isn't it? It's all fuzzy around it. Come on, Wake, what are you telling us this time? to go into here to see it Donna and I've got to remember that this doesn't actually pause the, the door, game her gun ready flashlight aimed ahead Nightingale said it would be here the Calder Lake general store was overgrown left to rot Saga thought about the cult of the tree they'd been here waiting planning a gruesome ritual murder Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer the to the door. watching you. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an axe in his raised hand. Yeah, I've got to remember that, like, going into that Mind Palace place doesn't actually pause the game. I have a check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Fortune, I'm going to guess... Lucky number sevens. No? Right. But oh, that's a shotgun. Give me shotgun. What was this over here? A toolbox. More healing stuff. And... Do, 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 do. Right, counter, counter, seven, two, three. We got a lottery number. Crystal ball gazing. <laughs> Seven oh five, seven seven three, seven seven seven, seven two three. Oh, there's a cult symbol. I missed it last time. Hmm. So I'm going to try seven two three. Seven, two, three, no, 
But it says Lady Fortuna, is that the... The psychic woman. Hmm. Also. Turn these off. Winning ticket. So it could be two or two, five, 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 one, three, seven. We'll try all of those. So two, zero, two, five, 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 one, three, seven. Apparently it's none of them. Lady Fortuna. What does it mean? Could be a winning ticket. Like it's the only thing we can actually view at the counter, so... These numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket. Ah, uh, I get it now. 705, 713, 717, 723. So it's going to be 739. I get it now. 739. Shotgun! Slot weapons for inventory, yeah. What we're gonna do, you're gonna go in this slot. Oh, she actually hooks it on her back as well. Nice. And now we're gonna look for more cultists. I don't so think I've done before. yet. Be looking for something else. Yeah, that must have definitely been shadow stuff on the floor then. Shadow goo. Oh shit, batteries. Almost forgot. Black paint. I don't believe you, Manu. I think it's evil shadow gunk. <laughs> you got me. You only get one. You're gonna rely on Greg or somebody doing it now. Right, so this is where they stashed their stuff. They had like radios and things. <laughs> Nothing up there. Uh, there's nothing else in here that I can see. Do we have to put it on the evidence board? What have we got?
Oh yeah, cult symbols there. There's another cult symbol. I think we're done here. I can't see anything else. Although I am very glad that just using the torch regularly doesn't use battery up in this game. In the first game it did. In this one it only seems to use a battery if you like. Try and zap stuff with it. So yeah, I can see my little torch Boris. Just next to Richard on the screen. In the first game you would slowly drain your torch no matter what you were doing. Hey look at Dreamcatchers. And then it would drain it even faster if you used like the concentrated mode. But on this, it seems to be fine. And we're getting towards dawn it looks like. And painted stones. I don't know the significance of painted stones, again. I should. Who's leaving these out here? We got remember, it's just a bad day, not a bad life. If you're having a good day, ignore this whole thing. More scraps. Yeah, in the first game you were always like scrabbling around trying to find batteries. And you got like upgraded torches as you went through the game. That were either more powerful so they lit up a bigger area or like used less battery. And like one of them was like a rechargeable torch that recharged itself after a short time. But I much prefer it this way. It's also a bit more realistic this way. Right, we're going to head back towards the witch's hut. Because I think there's a way up over there. Phone box. The witch's hut is this way, I think. Steps. Yeah, it's definitely getting towards daylight now. Alright, so we're on the other side of that mudslide. Welcome back, Greg. Alan does not appear to be awake. Aaron, however, is very awake after a man who jump scared him. I need to find my way back. Right, so we're not going this way. <laughs> what snacks you got, Greg? Right, we're getting back towards daytime. More painted stones. <laughs> There's another lunchbox. Another lunchbox. My dad used to say when they go and get stuff, the tough get going. Not sure where the tough get going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. Lunchbox. chocolate. I have some dark chocolate here somewhere. I might have it in a bit. Or I might save it for till tomorrow. I have my first redundancy meeting tomorrow at work.
orange chocolate. I will send you some for Christmas. Definitely. How about a nice cup of shut the fuck up? Hi, Wayne. How about you? Hi, Bor. Right, we're down back to the lake. Bullets. Not gonna let me go, is it? No, I'm not allowed into the lake. I'm just lost in a forest. So, which is hot is back this way. Toasty! Getting darker again. Lovely. Oh, yeah, his footprints led this way, didn't they? I wonder if that tree is still here. Is Richard gonna respond or is he just being lazy? Chad, wake up. Oh, break the boomer. You want me to teach you how to floss? Well, I'm afraid I can't assist with your dental hygiene, but I can certainly show you a goofy dance move called the floss. Imagine holding an invisible giant floss and swinging your hips from side to side. There you go. Now you can embarrass yourself on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah, he's just been a bit slow. Oh, lucky Greg. Bitchard. Just like that and get Bart to teach you instead. Trick Nightingale, a cauldron light. So he's got to be around here somewhere. I just need to find out where. This leads back to yeah, the general store. Let's try going down to the murder site. The murder site's in this direction, isn't it? <laughs> he definitely does, Greg. Right, nothing seems to have actually changed here. So nobody's messed with the murder scene. Still closed off. I 
FBC security perimeter. Ah, it's the FBC who's been doing it. Hello? Anyone there? Nice talking to you too. Come on, let me in. Okay, so the FPC don't want me going that way. What if I just head into these random turnoffs into the forest? See where these go. Cultist logo. They've been around here. A creepy twig sculpture? Wonder what's inside. Confused. I Follow these steps. The way to open this thing. Wash the your box. hands. To checking Is out the fridge. The take a nap. Symbol on it? Ooh, symbols. Uh, wash your hands. Uh, take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. Have a look inside. But the clues are going to be inside here. Well, Greg, you should know this is chicken related. Ah, that's why. Right. Dear. So there's going to be one above the sink or around the sink. Fridge, fridge logo. And then one near a bed. So wash your hands is up and down. Bed is left and right. Let's be a, let this be a warning to your fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano. Well, the sinks holes it leaves in its wakes, but what if that's not true? What if something else, something less natural and much more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not formed in its design, then it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake preparing. I know it. Water line. Real cold air is made from a volcano and lava. Engineered structure. Machines. Right, so bed is left right. Washing hands is up down and then fridge is hourglass. So it's up down. Uh fridge is hourglass and then left right for a bed or oh, is it the other or left right there notes and ammo won't take anything if you Looks aren't like one of the trees. Tough, I'm taking it anyway. It is evidence, so it's mine now. The trees. One of the trees. One of the creepy cultist bastards, you mean? Right, so this is the other side of the the crime screen spooky trees What? 
over here. Because this seems to have more people's stuff. Campsite. <gasps> Pebbles. That means there's a lunchbox around here somewhere. That's what it's indicated the past few times. More dream catchers. Hello, should he be in the tent? We got magazines. UFOs are new, the ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects. And writing down in case this happens again, I forget. I got that feeling again, it hit me at 1.15am after I finished my armour on the porch of the trailer. Got in the car and drove chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As expected, it led me past the Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. Tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't, not this time, frustrated but relieved. Scan the sky for shapes, the objects, nothing. But when I blinked repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to arrive back, I felt someone watching me. Here but not here, it's him, I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. But I was right to come to Bright Falls. Ooh. Someone's been doing the creepy stalker act. How do you like the knitting hero? I had it made just for you. head this way then. See where this leads me. Got a picnic table. Oh it just leads me back to this. Right so we'll go back this way then and through the gap in the rocks I think. And then the creepy music starts again. Oh, so I can't actually get any further this way because it all collapsed. to find my way back down to the lake proper somehow. So this just leads me back to this campsite here and there's no way down from here so we need to go back this way a bit. the music again. Do not like. That's the witch's cut hut. 
Yes, the dude's footprints are definitely this way. Which finder station is that way? This just leads back to this tree, which I can't do anything at. Where am I supposed to go? Climb up these? No. The so trees. Go back and look at the witch's hut again. Oh, there's a way this way. Also, I heard noise. Oh no, this is a safe room. Bullets. Hi, hi, me. How you doing? The name of the town, maybe the long Welsh town, is Llanvaia Polchwing Gogeru Hwindrobo Llantasilio Gogogoch. Let's check this way. I got his dick. Is what I've got. <laughs> Ready, Oracle. Okay. This is that kid that's been sneaking out again. Oh dear. I am doing what I usually do in games, Jaime, which is uh, getting lost. happening a lot I've noticed in this in Darksiders I've been playing Lies of P and I got lost in that as well also got lost playing Baldur's Gate the other day It's not, I fucked up. That's, that's the dumbest move I've ever done. So that's the witch's hut. <laughs> Poor Greg. No, it's just an illusion. It's due to the, the bad quality of the clip. clip. I mean, that's all it is. I go this way. This is Lake. I 
Am I allowed in this way? No, apparently not. <laughs> Dooby doo boo boo boo. So you lead back to the witch's hut. So we've got that's the way I went last time, let's go this way. Oh, this is where the phone box is. Or is she going to turn back again? to do no so we still need to hurt search for stuff I just don't know what We don't barely even need a torch up here, it's that bright. Parking is that way. Bird. This leads out. I need something to cut this. Here's the Department of Control Fence. So yeah, you're an FBI agent. Just jump over it, you're allowed to. Doubly so if it's part of an investigation. <laughs> All in the fence. And we're back to our car. Murder bike. Right. And creepy van. Right. I wonder if for this interpret the page's meaning. Do I need to put it on the evidence board? So we got more creepy cultist pictures. You're going on there. So we got lunch boxes. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message. Makes sense. So we can Cauldron Lake ones. There. What other cases do we have? Cult stashes? These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more.
Sure. Man. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. So this is what I was missing. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of he was. ritual. We are paying as an FBI agent who is investigating both Alan Wake and the stuff that happened around the lake. It doesn't make sense. Which is Lady Tearing over Saga, watching her and the witch. Nightingale's heart with cold lens. Part of the ritual? Nightingale's heart disappeared from a morgue. Where is it now? Also, the Department of Control is messing with stuff. It's much like on the heart. It's like a power side to me. Probably the heart, which should be the terror. Hmm. Does the witch have the heart? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Violating. Everybody's favorite bit. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? For a while, they played cards in the general store. This is kind of her superpower. Which had stolen his heart. Alan Wake has his writing stuff into existence. Heart is at the general store in a fridge. The woman you play as in control has her whole sync with artifacts thing. And this woman can like do superhuman profiling. The general store for the heart. Right, so I have to go all the way back to the general Casey, store. I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find <laughs> my way back, don't you worry about it. Poor Casey. Not only does he have a shitty ex-wife, he's got a shitty set of detective novels written after his name. Right, so now we go back to the general store. I could have just stayed there. Oh well. Yeah, the lunch boxes we've been finding are like like a uh, merch for the detective novels. Poor guy. Ah, oh, well, it's, it's almost light now. Sucks to be here. I need to mention the general store. I need to check it out. Yeah, it's this way. Night. All right, it is a bit darker in the trees. We'll get the torch out again, just in case. Night, night. Right, so it said his heart was in like a freezer box. Oh, look. That's not ominous at all.
Kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons thing. Oh, is this something to do with sex? <laughs> Far from it, Jen. <laughs> The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. We found the heart. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. <laughs> I knew it be I've been meaning to put that redeem on for ages, Jaime. I just kept forgetting. And now I, I need to give the heart to the witch. Make add it to the bit evidence board. While I remember. Yeah, I need to put two the, things uh, in the world that I hate more than anything, and that's one, racial intolerance, and two, the Dutch. I need to put the standard word, the standard nerds one on there as well. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? There. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. The internet. <laughs> weapon upgrade. Can I do any upgrades to my weapons? No, I need way more pieces to be able to do any upgrades. <laughs> well, everybody freaking out when she drops it. <gasps> do we get any more adverts? You will like this Jaime if you've not seen it before. Yako, we are going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Like an asshole. Oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I'm from here to the rescue. Bring out your inner Wolverine with First time I saw this advert, I laughed my ass off. These two are great. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Ahma Beer. Ahma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar, while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. <laughs> Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using the sauna. to hide your big belly from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikannit. Drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. <laughs> I said that to one of Finnish guys I used to watch. Casey, uh, I used to play Warcraft the with. They're taken, like Nightingale. He laughed his ass. But he there. thought it were brilliant. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. For Prince. But it is exciting. So which is Lail was this way? Oh, here they come. Damn cultists. Ow. Good 
job, Sara. Now keep moving. Need to heal. Hi, Dave. Why did your thing not work? Isn't it lovely? Oh wow, yeah, you sh shake those hips, buddy. Ah, oh, there we go. It was just delayed. Right, we are healed. How are you doing, Dave? I'm fighting cultists again and I'm about to do the most dangerous thing. Use the heart. Say the words. <laughs> I saw that you'd uploaded that clip as well. dumb thing you're about to do. For a second. Casey, I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey. Casey, do you read me? I think it's shot on time. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. That'll get you, Manu. <laughs> Just a bit. Logan? Logan! Um... Where are you? That's not supposed to happen. What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. <laughs> it's the shadows fucking with you, but we're gonna go out and take a look anyway. Never mind, there's nothing here. Continue through the trees. Another page. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken hoot, still hoot. lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. 
into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The Dark Presence, Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place, wandering in the shadows. Muttered it's themselves. good. Stark, it's... lost. Because I've been playing Who Control, Who am I? parts of it may, are making more sense than they it's would cold. to somebody who hasn't. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. But who said that? It's doing a pretty good horror game so far. We even have that famous attache case management. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the I also need to remember when I'm watching this in, stuff. Fading out. The game isn't the actually paused. After that, the writer was writing again. So like this entire menu where I'm looking at cages and cases and stuff like this does not pause the game. But yeah, it's it's doing spooky well. Here's our attaché case with our stuff in. So we've got everybody's favourite simulator. Trauma pads. We need to add these to the quick slot as well. Down there. <coughs> The investigation part of it is quite cool as well, even though it's more like a puzzle than anything else. There's the cult symbol again. Oh no, not the evil crows again. Just buy more cult symbols. Got me that time. That's one of the taken. Nightingale. Yeah, that's definitely Alan. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Yeah, the game is doing a good job of, like, getting you with the occasional jump scare and keeping the suspense up at the same time. Uh, the jump scares are, um, how did they describe them in control? They're messages. The place where I'm assuming Alan Wake is stuck at the moment. Oh, <gasps> just thingy stuff. Is called the Astral. And it's like a... Second universe. Think of it like um, the astral realm in D and D. Like overlays the real world, but in the astral, like things that you can think of and conceive can become true. And this bit we're in at the moment is an overlap, which is where the astral and the real world exp basically. Uh, exist at the same time so you come across of them a lot of them in control because they're linked to events or to items and they called them altered world events another cult symbol i'm assuming that's probably why the cult symbol is two triangles overlapping 
because it's the overlapping worlds. So yeah, the, the messages she's getting are the cultist guy trying to fuck with her and Alan trying to ask her for help on his own. God damn it, Bart. And then, yeah, there's Bart and Manu jump scaring me with that. So yeah, th this area we're in at the moment, like down by Cauldron Lake, is basically like a... I'm assuming is just a thin place between the two worlds, which is why it's called the Overlap. But there's also things that live in the Astral that are mean. Right, fight time. Bitch, I've got a shotgun. Uh. And then he does that. Shit. Run. Oh shit, it's the storm. Run away. Don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be going, but it's... Get off me. Zap you. And yeah, most of the jump scares are that fucker. He's going to jump out again, isn't he? can hear him. He doesn't like being shot. Gimme. No, that was the wrong button. That's what I wanted. Cheating. Doing it while you're invisible. Where are you? I hear you, but I can't see you. She's in pitch blackness now, she's in the astral, and she's fucked. That's Alan. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? Hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, 
FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I go escape. In danger. The dark presence. Is that Alan? Or is that her partner? Are you okay? No! It's my fault! They got out! It's my, Alan! My face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. Oh Please. shit, Scratch is still it's there. The story. The dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? So, the scratch that he mentioned then is in the Alan Wake spin off mini game they did. It was called American Nightmare. And it's how the, the darkness presence keeps escaping. And the most recent time it escaped, it escaped basically imitating Alan Wake took his face, pretended to be him, everything, and called itself Mr. Scratch. So he went with him mentioning Scratch then, I reckon Scratch has still escaped. Where did you go? All of a sudden the radio stopped working and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yes, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. They're going to be best friends. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just, I, I need another minute. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. I swear there was a manuscript page on the floor. Suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the yeah. overlap. Unless he's got it in his pocket. It's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. The pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out. Just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. Alan Wake is understandably freaking out. Anything down here?
about this way. Dead deer. It's been eaten a bit. I can get over this way now. Oh yeah, my torch is completely out. Or almost completely out. Age! The reality-changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed. Like fear flowed down the path of least resistance, eroding the weak spots until they cracked. In places where reality was more yielding, where story told and retold, imagination sparked and fear ignited again and again, had softened the walls of reality. Sites of violence and tragedy, where truth was laced with fiction, where a work of art proposed an alternative well, narrative, well, well. something people could suspect to be true, something people felt strongly about something they feared the stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response the better the darker the better a ghost of a witch ripping a man's heart from his chest two brothers murdering the neighbors and hiding their bodies in a well a young woman haunting the flooded bunker where she drowned bedtime stories folk tales urban legends connected to a specific place these were the sites where the overlaps came to be So, be right now, Dave. This is in like a not story heavy area. Why? <gasps> wizards! Yeah, add Dave to the wizards. Hot wizards in your area. I don't want love. I just want sex. See my orb. Click here. Bibbity bobbity, bring that sweet ass over to my tower, baby. Now part of an exclusive club. It's just you, Bart, and Greg. Uh, where is it? This is the one I need to empty it. Save. There you go. You're now part of the exclusive club. And you have your special fancy role on Discord as well. Hey, Casey, what's the forest favorite shape? Please, Anderson, just one case without the rent. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. <laughs> That's terrible. But it will be a joke that I remember. Just leaving supplies around for themselves.
Simon says. Easy. Flare. Extra storage. Whatever that is. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. 69, 69, almost. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals. It's my job to hunt them and cut them. Right, what do we just pick up? Propane tank. Throwable bomb. We got flares. Flares are always good. Anything else? Can't get any further beach wise. So there were a couple of lunch boxes I couldn't reach before. Creepy noises again. Oh, this is the tree. Oh, there is a quick turn. Sweet. So we're back at Witch's Ladle. Wolf, you a regular wolf or an evil wolf? Evil wolf. Come on. Come on. Fast. Been attacked by a furry. Even the animals are turning into monsters. And I'm running out of ammo. Oh no, I've been bitten by a furry. <gasps> the arrows. That means friends. Yeah. Secret supplies. So this means there's going to be a stash around here. Here it is. Right, so this batteries bullets more cultist symbols another manuscript page yes another locked box back at witch's ladle saga pointed the flashlight at the strange dark substance the same substance Nightgale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Cult is watching right now. Well, if they are, they're going to get shot again.
we got here? There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? One bird for light, two for darkness, three for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. I'm guessing I'm supposed to come back to that. A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Unless. One bird for light. There. Something feels different. I should look around. A charm. Cute. Charms are very pleasant. The charm way. slots in the adventure. Mm. Huh. That was strange. Right, um, Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Government put up a fence. Um. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Killed me, bastard. This is not how the story goes. Something feels different. I should right. look around. We'll get the shotgun ready this time. Just fuck them. Charm. Right. So if I go great on the bracelet Logan move. Yeah. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Can I pick this up again? I can. in the light um uh, nothing to open that one unless we try the witch finder station oh it's also locked Birdhouse. Birds. Well, it was a bird that brought us the charm, so maybe Alan has made the shadow birds into friendly ones. Finder station.
another one of those rhymes. Check inside first, see if there's any more. See what the rhyme says. The hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry. He ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero turned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. <laughs> so we need to find more dolls. I'm guessing. Also keep an eye out for a wolf inside here. Computer's on. Bedroom. The beast within. Just in case. Reindeer. We got more bullets. I feel bad for these guys. Say hello to the dear friend. I hear cultists outside. We're here. Ooh, FBC document. Research into the reality-altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area utilising fiction and art as a source, then manifesting the results into existence. FBC's intent in this research is to project to experiment blah, 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 blah. FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction, and attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality either by reflecting events that have become to pass but are not known to the later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events in which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline using creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme text with the specific function and use the depicted, depicted dolls and symbols as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in a fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving dolls, symbols and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data, hope that a pattern will appear, methods will be adjusted in testing based on our results. So the FBC were messing around with mercy rhymes and, to and toys to try make things happen basically. Another video camera, more documents. Test sites in Cauldron Lake, which find a stream side. Cauldron Lake rental cabins. Eh. So there's a wolf doll, hero doll. Uh, nothing else in here. So, 
What was the rhyme? Oh yeah, the computer was on, wasn't it? Look at the computer. Admin! It's two, five, four, seven, does that say? Ah, genius. Experimentation update, Dr. Campbell, Dr. Marmont. Dr. Marmont, I'm Dr. Marmont. Here's a proposal. Promised to update the project's first experimentations. Test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. Choreographing the nature of the test items was the hypothesis to be beneficial for each of the research purposes. Test results, negative. Continue testing with more advanced items. No response necessary fictional research and then we've got favorable review of project thank you I need not remind you that my academic as well as recreational experience in mythology for exam writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project both leading it creating the testing material yeah. so the FBC has been messing with stuff what's the bet that they fucked up and released scratch so Left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy in the air when he found in the house without a host. Right, so a wolf goes here. And then left home boat. I have a weird feeling something's changed. What has changed? Where? In the house? Or oh, wolf prints? What is this? This is ridiculous. Big bad wolf. Where are you? Prince going upstairs. Going this way. Oh shit. We got another charm for my bracelet. What's this one? Ooh. Rescue charm. Where the fuck is this wolf? Better not pop out at me now. No. Anderson, how's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Another one of those lunch boxes. Yeah, lunch box. Obviously, you're going to succeed, or else you wouldn't be the hero, though. <laughs> Time to head back to the car. At least I know the FBC is messing with stuff now. It's going to be entirely their fault. Oh look, big bad wolf. Meat. Shot them.
And we have more lights. Which is... Oh. It's just a tide indicator. Or not. There's another cult stash. Puzzle. Um, so seven minus two is five. Six plus two is eight, so five, eight, six. Rock, rock, tree, are you bright enough? Uh, five, five. Eight. Rock, rock, three. Ah, oh, five, six, eight. Maybe. No worries, Dave. I'm just going to get back to the car on this and probably finish so yeah you're five yeah it makes me do math five six eight maybe so we'll try five five eight it's not that it's not five six eight and it's not Oh, six five eight, just the other way around. More loot. Nine eyed dove. Tried zero zero. You say that Bart, there used to be where I used to work we had a Padlock and that was zero zero zero. Get dodged. <gasps> and he dropped the uh, batteries. Any more of you? I should probably heal up a bit. <sighs> Just one of the boxes I couldn't get to before it was. Which means there's Lunchbox here somewhere. Another Alex Casey lunchbox. Okay, waterfall secret. Ten out of ten game. There's a secret next to the waterfall. Automatic ten out of ten game. As I looked down at the rippling water, the moonlight danced over each and every little wave. A marching band of shimmering light, lonely and cold. I hugged myself on his side and I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there, his face smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true, he was there. My love, my saviour, my writer. Ooh. So, did somebody else have an obsession with Alan Wake accidentally release Scratch instead? General store. 
far as back up this way somewhere. Or was this just where the... Oh no, just the lunchbox was here, wasn't it? Bugger. Do, 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 do. So we need to go around the general store. Is that the FBC thing? It is. Alarm's going off. Also, More lunchbox. We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Right, let's see what the FBC alarm is about. It's never good. Warning. Activity detected. A W E. Yeah, altered world event. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A W E? Casey. What exactly does the FBC do? After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Yeah. Altered world event means something big happened. Which is probably the overlap that we went into. I mean, shit's going down. And we're back to the car. Yep, yeah, let's go. Hi, Alan. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. You fucked up. Dad, it's mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. To the hospital. Yeah, her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. 
Bye for now. Mistake. Should have said bye to your kid. No. No. If they'd be in danger, they would come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. <laughs> yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember it's 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 a crazy jumble like a like a nightmare I, it doesn't it doesn't make sense Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. Hey, it's the... Control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. The old gods of Advert was the, the two old fogies in the band in the first show. game. Was that a recording? Let's try Bart finishing now. So yeah. I am done for tonight. I got jump scared enough times. And this is a good stopping point being in charge of Alan himself. Hello. Shall find somebody to raid. I felt a strange pull toward the TV. Yeah, of course she did. But we'll look at that next time. Who's on? Who is still a boot? Tell you what, I'll just be lazy and read Yash. He's playing the melon game. <gasps> Manu, how dare you. So yeah, I will see you all next time. I'm going to try and do like another schedule and keep to it. Um, seeing as we uh, finished Uncharted 3. I'm going to pick up probably the Surge 2. I've not decided yet. You'll find out when I post the schedule. But yeah, thank you for dropping by everybody. Thank you for scaring me multiple times. I shall see you all soon. <laughs>